what a pleasure it is to be here. Um, I have not been to MIC before. I've driven by it many, many times, and what an honor it is to be here. What a beautiful facility you have. So I uh, appreciate your hospitality and how pleased I am to be here, especially on such an auspicious occasion, the birth anniversary of Pro uh, Prophet Muhammad and his grandson. And um, I wish you happiness on this important occasion for you and your family. Uh, as was said, I am a relatively new mayor to the city of Brampton, but I was a former councillor for 12 years. And uh, I am two years into a four-year mandate, and there is still much more work to be done. And I uh, spoke with the leadership downstairs with my colleague Martin Medeiros just a few minutes ago to talk about what we can do, what we can work on together in the future. And I feel very optimistic about some of the projects that we can work on with your youth, with your seniors, and all of the other planning that we need to do as a city to grow, to build a better Brampton. Our youth are our future, and certainly um, my office door is always open, and there are some very exciting opportunities coming in the coming years, uh, and I hope that you already know that the city of Brampton has already been designated a community that will be getting a university. For me, this is a huge, positive initiative that will help all of our young people stay in Brampton. It'll make it an affordable place to go to school. We're not sure who that partner is yet, and we're not sure where it will be in Brampton, but we're trying to find, and for the young people in the audience, a cool university, because I want it to be a place that you want to go and you think, wow, that's a great partnership with an exciting curriculum and with other partnerships around the world so that you can be future ready and starting an education close to home and using your talent and uh, all of the experience that you have in Brampton to shine wherever you decide to work in the world. Uh, this past uh, year, in 2015 and 16, we for, for the first time, the city of Brampton hosted an Eid celebration. Thank you for being part of that. I want you to feel welcome at City Hall, and I want you to feel welcome at the 167 facilities the city owns, that you own. If you're a taxpayer, there are your facilities and council has a fiduciary responsibility to take care of those facilities for your use, your children's use, your neighbor's use, your grandchildren, in my case I have grandchildren, you want them to be able to use those facilities and to uh, grow and expand their knowledge and their, their experience. So I want you to feel that Brampton is an inclusive place. Councillor Medeiros has started an initiative to bring internships or summer jobs to City Hall. We hope to do that in the future. We'll be talking about that in, our, in, our, in the coming months to find ways to give some of our youth an opportunity to find a summer job closer to home, get to get experience in municipal government. They may choose to do that or they may run someday for politics. Hopefully, I'm looking at a lot of young women here today that may want to step into my shoes. That would be great. I would like to find a way to mentor a young woman to be uh, the future mayor and maybe that person is already in my audience. So I look forward to that. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to be here. I wish you a very happy, safe, healthy season with your family. Take the time. These are very, very busy days where we get so busy with our, our jobs and our responsibilities. Sometimes we forget to take care of some of our friends and family who are struggling with illness or or hardship, so please, um, I know you already do it, and reach out to your friends and neighbors. Try to find a way to reach out to someone who may be struggling uh, this, uh, this season. So thank you very much for the invitation. May Allah bless your families and your loved ones. Thank you.